This book is not outdated in any stretch of the way just because IPOs have been eclipsing, eclipsed by ICOs. The reason for that is Brad Feld's book on governance in the age of coins and tokens is totally still applicable, totally still uh, functional because at the core of it, you're trying to build a company. On the surface of it, you've got some investment instruments and oversight. And this is thanks to three dudes who I hung out with uh, after the Stanford blockchain event at the conjoined after party with Foam, friends of RJ Miller. Uh, Mo, Steven, and Leland. And you can figure out who they are because they're my Twitter. But what Mo and Leland brought up is how consensus has four forks in governance. And governance on a board is critically important if you're a CS major because you could get fired from your job and you could lose all of your sweat equity. And CS majors like Travis, they went ahead and read the legal docs. You can't just outsource reading legal docs to your lawyer because your lawyer, they'll still get paid even after you get fired. And they might actually get paid more. So reading the legal docs and understanding governance, and that's what goes to Brad Feld's book is, is a couple of, well, specifically three unwritten chapters, uh, starting with chapter 22 which is what happens after chapter his chapter 19, which is shutdown. Shutdown is assignment for benefit of creditors, which actually he quotes Marty Pitchinson specifically in that. And that's also where me, Mo, and Steven were so curious about the turnaround, curious about the bridge, uh, curious about the, the CS183 E for edit. So, Chapter 22 talks specifically, even though he didn't write it out, you can just read it and just extrapolate it because it's so clear, is that the things that he didn't talk about in 19, he probably just redacted in chapter 22, which is what to do with the Marty Pitchinson assignment for benefit of creditors. Because remember, that's prepackaged up to a creditor. So you could be one of the co-founders. In fact, you can be an intern. You could be external to the company and say, hey, Silicon Valley Bank, First Republic, uh, you've got some defunct assets because this startup, sorry if this is super complex, this just assumes that you've got a, a JD MBA with an engineering undergrad. Sorry, it's just the life we live in. I don't have those degrees, well, except for the engineering degree. But I went ahead and crashed the law school at HLS, the law school at SLS, and obviously I crashed the business school and ended up teaching at the engineering school. So this assumes a certain level of JD MBA with an engineering kicker in the under. And the, the proxy, the process, the protocol for the, for the turnaround is buying the asset back or doing an external API. These things happen all the time. They just don't call it that. They call it turnaround. They don't call it CS183 E for edit. They call it, they call it innocuously some really broad stroke thing that is in, actually incredibly complex if you start to dig in and ask, oh, what recipe are you talking about? What playbook are you reading from? And these alphas, they have it in their brain, but they kind of don't put it pen to paper. That's what chapter 22 is. Hashtag CHAP22. And the nomenclature goes to hashtag CH7. That's a chapter I wrote. A chapter I read and then did a book report on, similar to hashtag fifth epiphany. The number five, fifth epiphany, is a book report. So hashtag chap22 is the unwritten chapter of Brad Feld's startup boards book. And that absolutely plays to the ICO markets that we are currently in right now, 
where you can be an investor advocate. They don't have investor relations. It's just a big F you over there on GitHub. Well, you just swallow up and eat up that that F you on GitHub. Num, 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 num. And you say, well, you haven't deployed any code. Why don't we start deploying some of the code for you? Doing a test net, doing dabblings of, of execution uh, and small tidbits of trying to ratchet up use of the token. And then later, you could just fork the token. You can just fork the, the, the non-existent code in most cases because most ICOs, and that's what governance is cool with because it's literally the Wild West and you can control, you can, Vertcoin was controlled uh, by the non-founder. It's a complete turnaround. And that's uh, thanks to Taj of Lightning uh, who presented just a snippet. And I tried, I asked four questions to try to get him to delve deeper. He wouldn't, so I had to dig on my own. And that was at Scaling Bitcoin, Taj, the dude who did Lightning, who then Joseph Poon forked his thing to do Lightnings with a plural or some Zs at the end, or something nomenclated I can't remember. But that's turnaround and that's boards. Uh, chapter 20 is the one after uh, 19, which is specifically... Um, not getting fired and chapter 21 is uh, also hashtag CHAP21.